Hi, all right. So this is a chapter on um, administration. You can see I've left it um, till the till the end because it's what it is, administration. We can almost probably need to go over it over and over again <clears throat> just to make sure you get comfortable with the dates involved. Um, so let's let's jump into it um, straight away. And don't don't feel bad if you don't remember it the first time when you're doing a question. Just kind of as you repeat questions with it, it w it will come. So let's um. So I'll make very short videos and we'll cover sort of each each sort of session in each video. So corporate tax um, return. So <clears throat> typically, um, once you start your business, once you're clear that you are, once you've set up a company, the good thing about companies as well is that you register them. So when I say you register them, you know, you have to actually technically fill in the forms and send them off to company's house or um, wherever they get registered and then you get the forms through, you get a starting date. So typically we're very clear. There shouldn't be much confusion about that and you should really notify HMRC uh, within the start of your chargeable accounting um, period. And then you get a note, a notice somewhat from HMRC regarding when you'd be paying your taxes and welcoming you <laughs> to the world of tax. Um, so that's kind of the first the first thing. So in terms of submissions, let's jump into that first of all. Um, you have pretty much, as you can see here, um, it says that you must submit your returns um, pretty much by, let's just argue, 12 months after the end of the period of account. Now, this is just good, cautious, good to, 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 to work out because if you remember, chargeable accounting periods themselves can't exceed 12 months. Remember, you might remember a question we did that was, it was a 15 month period. And so you could submit the return um, after the end of the period, after the 15 months. But in terms of paying your taxes, that was very much based on the um, chargeable accounting period. So you had two periods, if you remember, you had a 12 month period and then you had a three month period um, to which you now paid. But in terms of the filing of the return, it is done typically 12 months. So typically most period, most chargeable accounting periods are 12 months. And so you have 12 months to file. So this is about filing. Um, and in effect, this is all done online. Um, and and that's and that's fundamentally it. So now in, this is to do with filing. So the question here is, what are the consequences for filing late? So um, typically, I mean, this is because this is textbook, but typically what happens if you've ever had to deal with any of these, I have, unfortunately, is that if you miss a deadline, um, the very moment you go past your so, for example, whatever, you, here we are, 31st of December, 2018, and then you have all the way to the 31st of December, 2019. So as soon as you miss this, you typically get a letter in the post telling you that you owe them £100. Now, typically what happens is that um, if you still do, so which is really what they're saying here, within three months, as soon as you miss that deadline, you'll see a letter probably two weeks later telling you that you owe them £100. And if you pay within that period, you're fine. And if you continue to ignore them, um, what you then see is that um, three months later, you will get another letter revising it all and telling. So in effect, it's almost like £100 for the first three months and then £100 post that. But in effect, you get a revision letter telling you you owe them £200. And then when you get to a six to two, you, in this era of six to 12 months, once you've passed the six month mark, um, <clears throat> in addition to this 200 pounds, you will, are liable to 10% of the tax outstanding, if you like, after the filing date. And again, we have exactly the same thing here. You have 20% once you've exceeded the 12 months. So what you just want to do again is, again, you will remember this, I think, after you, um, sometimes I think it's best to almost suffer the tax and then you remember it by default. But let's just take this example here. <clears throat> Wildman Limited, 31st of December year end, it files its return for the 31st of December. Um, this is the year end, 31st of December 2018. Technically, this now means that you have up to the 31st of December 2019. You should file by now. So what does he do? We go past the three-month period, which would have been the um, 31st of March, hasn't paid. We go pa past the 30th, 30th of June hasn't paid, so now we have a fixed penalty of £200. And then after this, between this and 12 months, which is within its sort of remit, is 18th of July. Here we have um, the tax due is 80000 So in effect, you now have um, 
<clears throat> which you now have in effect as you can see here this is 10% so we need 10% um, of this 18,000 and so that's 8,000 so in, in, in effect you are liable to 8,000 plus this 200 and that's 8,000 to 200 right um, so what do we have yes um, you can just wanting to see what else we have here. So in terms of amendments, this is something else to work out that they like to put through, put in there for knowledge. This is more all, and I say knowledge purposes, just working with knowledge. Um, HMRC has the right to amend obvious mistakes within nine months of the actual filing date. But you, as the company, have the right to amend within 12 months of the due filing filing date. Again, another date here. Um, <clears throat> there is, if you like, if an error is discovered later than that, to make an overpayment relief claim within, you can make one within four years of the end of the CAP. So if you've if you've ended up paying too much corp tax, you can you have four years. But again, typically six years. So we must keep six years record um, keep our records for six years from the end of the relevant CAP. And um, that's pretty much really the the the, the the issue with um, the compliance. All of this, again, like I say, is very much um, knowledge and just see how much of it you can remember. You have 3,000 of CAP, 3,000 per CAP if you fail to keep your records. But I think the key numbers are six years there to remember. Okay, great. And I'll keep, like I say, I'll keep those short so that um, you can kind of probably remember them in bits. Okay, great stuff. I'll see you in the next video.